Hi, this is Brooke Jolly. What this video shows is how to go into a cPanel backend and do a quick installation of WordPress without having to follow the uh, long list of instructions that you would normally do from WordPress.org, which normally is going to be download the files, FTP them to the server, make your MySQL database, do this, do that. There's lots of steps. Fix your config files. You can skip all of them. Almost every server that has cPanel, you can just log in. I'm already logged into mine at Site5. Scroll down. You'll see under software services there's going to be a list of things. Here we're looking for web apps, but it could be anything from Soft Delicious, Fantastico, Web App Installer, Web Apps, a number of things. Here's Web Apps, clicking that on mine, but on yours there's no telling what it's named. It should be something pretty obvious, but if you can't figure it out, I would suggest asking your technical support. They normally are going to know exactly what you're asking for. Like that, that's something that's very common on a cPanel server. But here under popular apps, you see WordPress is the most popular. It's, it's the top of the list. Probably the most common thing they install. You're just going to click install now. Scroll down. It's got the prefix. You can change all this later. The domain. You leave the directory alone. I, I normally do. Leave the database name alone. It automatically makes one. I don't change any of this until I get to the site itself. But you do want to change your admin username. Reason being, in an attack called a brute force attack, what happens? They'll put in admin as the username and just start it firing random passwords through it, hoping to guess the right one using a program. So if you change that, it makes it slightly harder. There's also some security stuff that I install later that pretty well prevents most simple hacking attacks. So you can't always, you, there's no way to prevent all hacking. There's no way to prevent all security issues. The thing that you can do is make it take for a very long time or be annoying to do most of the things that could break into your site and make good backups and that's about the most secure you can possibly be. Uh, here I'm going to change this admin email to my email address. Um, everything else can be left alone. Just click the button here at the bottom that says install and now it's installing the site. That's it. There's no downloading files, uploading this, downloading this, none of the additional work there. What we do here is just open this in new window. From here you see it's got all your installation details. You can print this out so you've got it saved. Um, I wouldn't suggest doing that. I would just use LastPass and make sure that you know your password the first time you log in so it's got saved. You don't need this MySQL database password really ever. Uh, so we're, here we go. We're going to go to the admin. There's a couple little tiny things I usually fix while I'm in the admins of the very first step too. But here we are. New site. Log in using our u new username and password. Now we are logged in here to the back end. The first thing that I normally do, if this were my, if this were the one I'm going to use permanently, I would save it in the last pass, but it's not. First things I normally do, I'm going to go in here to posts, delete this hello world that's always in there, go to pages, delete the sample page that's always there, go into plugins, delete the two default plugins they always put in. Then go into settings, go to reading, and go to search engine visibility and click discourage. Later when the site is finished, we're going to turn this back off. But for time being, we don't want the site indexed because it's not complete, there's nothing on it. So we're just going to hit save changes on that so that it's discouraged that the note the site the site is sending a signal to Google, Bing, and everywhere else to not index the site yet because it's not ready. That's what that does. That's what it tells it. Also going to want to go to permalinks here and change your permalinks to post name and hit save changes. That's it. We've done the entire installation of WordPress, completely done. Start to finish in four minutes and five seconds, it says right now. So this can easily be done by anyone in under five minutes without even looking at the long list of instructions at WordPress or seeing how to use your config files or use FTP or anything requiring any technical knowledge. You just have to make an account and log in and go click the buttons. That's all there is to it. If you have any questions, need any help with anything, feel free to send me comments or send me a message at any time. Thank you.